Hi, today we're going to talk about how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website if you're using the all-in-one SEO plugin. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your Google Analytics account and you're going to go up to this admin tab up here at the top and then you're going to click on the account tab and click create new account. And once you did that, now we can start putting some information in there. The other thing you're going to do uh, is you're going to go to your WordPress site, log into your dashboard, um, and you're going to be able to, so you can see the all-in-one SEO plugin is installed here. I'm just going to copy the URL and paste it here. And then we can just call this website, it's called Quotes Farm. Uh, we can do the same. So basically, I'm just assigning a website name, an account name, which can, can basically be the same thing. Make them a little bit different. Quotes Farm for the account name, quotesfarm.com for the website name, then the actual website. Then uh, do arts and entertainment. You got to select an industry. Then I uncheck all of these, otherwise you'll get a bunch of emails from Google. And then you click Get Tracking ID. Uh, read through Google's Terms of Service. Once you do that, click I Accept. Once you've accepted, it will give you some code. All we actually need is this little line right here. So I just select it. I hit Control C. Now I'm going to go over to my WordPress dashboard to the all-in-one SEO plugin. Hover over that. Click General Settings. Now I'm going to scroll down here uh, a little ways. It's probably three quarters of the way down the page. And you see Google Analytics ID. You can see a UA dash and then a bunch of number signs. I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to hit Update Options. Make sure I did that. Once it's updated, you can double check by seeing it says all in one SEO options updated. Now we're just going to check to make sure that the code is there. So I'm going to go to the actual home page of the website. I'm going to right click, you hit view page source, and then I can see right here is my Google Analytics ID, right? So uh, what it did is it just automatically uh, pasted the code into the source code. So now we can track with Google Analytics. So that's how you use all-in-one SEO with WordPress to install Google Analytics.